ngaphandle kweminyaka sila amasizini angu2 amacimbi so ngiyakwanisa ukuthi sile sizini ka April ya December so ngo April ngiyakwanisa ukuthi mbambe almost 10 to 12 packets yesizini ka April and then kweka December ikho ka December iba short nyama yesizini yakhona ayibi sile sikhathe sithi ngiyakwanisa ukuthi mbambe ngauthwa 7 zini ngiyakwanisa ukuba noma 7 mpakete ni 1 siyenza 25 US. Sting sang a marans. Mobalapa sang to sing a marans. When a marans sang 450, say 500. Right, I might say, be my is to living an unliberal Luchan, Aya, Agabi Maning. But is living a bali Ning Lalo. Lawa Maxim Bacon, the two Taba Maning, a cool sequence with his bambi, saluting the Ecos Consultants, but trust bambi, or April, there was a few and more fifteen packets. My is living, but my little Luchan is a lacon. I go about my Luchan, really like in the season, you got to say April, you got to say, but you got to say, I have a man named Sibu, you got to say, I have a man named So, you got to say, I have a man named Sibu, you got to say, I have a man named Sibu, you got to say, I have a man named Sibu, you got to say, I have a man named Sibu, you got to say, I have a man named Sibu, you got to say, I have a man named Sibu, you got to say, I have a man named Sibu, you got to say, I have Seven hundred rands. But to the ones who do are April. So climate change is affecting the Mopani and Valley chain directly and indirectly. Directly, um, climate change is brought about extreme weather conditions that affect the delicate uh, Mopane worm cycle. So when you have extreme weather conditions, they affect Mopane worms. For example, when um, Mopane moth lay their eggs and when there are extreme heat waves uh, or there, are extreme, there is extreme rainfall, it affects these eggs, they do not hatch properly. And also when there are delayed rains, uh, Mopane trees, they delay in um, developing leaves which the Mopane worms feed on. As a result, uh, even if they hatch, some die because they do not get enough food. And also um, climate change uh, affects Mopane trees in that it exacerbates the effects of uh, veiled fires. When there are veiled fires, uh, some of the trees, uh, they burn totally. So in a nutshell, that's how climate change is affecting Mopane worms. And then um, indirectly, um, Mopane worms, they affect uh, livelihoods of communities. When agriculture fail, fails as a result of climate change, people resort to forests for their survival. So you find people cutting down Mopane trees for firewood, uh, for construction materials, uh, for other purposes, uh, mainly for commercial purposes. And this affects um, the Mopane woodlands. With the reduction of uh, Mopane woodlands or the abundance of Mopane trees within the forest, it also affects the abundance uh, of uh, Mopane worms. And then also, uh, as a result of more people engaging uh, in Mopane worm harvesting, uh, because there are now limited sources of livelihood. The moment you have Mopane worms, everyone uh, resorts to Mopane worms, everyone is harvesting Mopane worms. So this 
in a way is pushing the unsustainability or unsustainable harvesting of mopane worms. All this is a result of climate change. Right, ma mopane worms gamata Uganda district are peace gamata because this time of hunger. Regular <laughs> So no protect our resources. They are not able to manage this and that. It's the issue we are not able to manage. 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 We are also uh, looking at various ecological mechanisms to improve the abundance and availability of mopane worms. We have uh, projects that are looking at the semi-domestication of mopane worms. We are finding a way to protect the populations from unsustainable harvesting or extreme weather conditions that are being brought about by climate change. So through the semi-domestication trainings, uh, we've uh, constructed several mopaniwem rearing sites in the district and also other uh, micro uh, semi-domestication mechanisms that we have taught the community to ensure that they are continuously available. And also we have other projects where we are promoting the management of the Mopane woodland. Uh, it is important that we preserve the trees uh, where the Mopane worms feed on. Mopane worms only feed on Mopane trees and through the various projects uh, we are looking at how we can uh, promote the preservation of the existing Mopane worms and also sorry, Mopane trees and also we are looking at how we can improve uh, the vegetation of Mopane trees that we have now. We are also looking at improving uh, the natural regeneration of um, Mopane trees within the community. Uh, we are also having programs where we are formulating woodlets, uh, woodlots of Mopane trees. We are planting Mopane trees uh, as woodlots uh, for Mopane worms and also uh, for fodder and other ecosystem services that we get from the Mopaniwam.